All right, guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is James. My name is Stella. And today we are going to be watching uh, The Queen's Gambit, specifically The Queen's Gambit episode one. So I'm really excited. Um, I have heard a lot of hype about the show, but I haven't heard a lot about this show. You haven't, you don't really know anything about the show either, do you, Stella? Not really. Nope. Okay. But you know a ton about chess because you're a genius chess <laughs> teacher. And she okay, also will I, actually play anyone nope, in the audience nope. if they Shush, want to stop. on nope, Patreon. Stop talking. Never. <laughs> nope. Um... <laughs> I teach chess classes to children, so I teach them what all the pieces do. I do not teach them all the fancy openings and all the fancy chess master things, so I don't know that much. So basically, if we know what's going on with Anna Taylor-Joy, she sucks. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really bad opening to get you guys to want to watch us watch the show. We love I'm really Anya excited. Joy. I love Anya Taylor-Joy. I actually do. She's a great actress. I'm really excited She's to fantastic. see this because I've heard a lot about the series. So we're going to be watching this. That's kind of like an extra TV show once a week for now. Um, Thank you guys just for being here. Thank you for watching. As always, full like the reactions up at the Patreon. The next a uh, episode, episode two, is also going to be up be up for early access on our Patreon if you guys want to go ahead and check that out. Um, And yeah, thank you just for being here. Thank you for joining us, for watching. If you're new, welcome. And let's just get into The Queen's Gambit. Episode one. Mademoiselle. Okay. Now, I, this is people. based off a book. Oh, I think I knew that. Maybe. So, if anybody knows any stuff about that or things different, I was looking for that stuff. Oh. All right. Oh. <laughs> wow. Because who doesn't take a bath fully clothed? I, I am so hooked to the show already. It's so well shot. That was just such a cold open. Okay, 1967. Cool. Do we think she's got like a tournament go that's happening that she's forgotten about? Oh my yeah. gosh, is she playing with, she's playing with liquor bottles. Yeah, yeah, she obviously was on something and kind of like out of it and I'm assuming she has responsibilities that she has ignored. You definitely don't know who that is, do you? No idea. I, I couldn't even <laughs> tell if it was a child or an adult. Bro, she's not. I just realized she didn't have her shoes on. <laughs> oh man, uh -oh. all right. All right, we're really cutting this close. I was gonna say, she is a big deal here. I'm sorry. How late are we? I mean, it, it looks like they've been there a while. Mm. Whoa. Just stare into my soul, why don't you? <laughs> I'm sending someone. It's hardly a scratch on it. Oh. Oh, geez. It's a goddamn miracle. I doubt she'll see it that way. Did her parents like like die in a they, car crash? I think. They yeah, they must have. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my oh jeez. You understand, dear. Your mother's passed on. You know what that means. Please tell me we have somebody like kind of nice to take care of her. Someday you get to see her again. Orphaned by yesterday's collision on New Circle Road. Okay. Harmon surveys a troubled future. I would guess that, like most men who live around there, he was yet another victim of a carefree life. I was gonna say, he's probably just kind of yeah, out of the yeah. picture. So we have like trauma upon trauma, probably upon trauma upon trauma, because you know, yeah. orphanages, they're always, they always treat kids really great at orphanages. Let's welcome yeah. her, shall we? Well, I mean, these people Especially. seem lovely. Here we are. Now the orphans, on the other hand. This is our chapel, the domain of Miss Lonsdale. How do you do, Elizabeth? You're all a bunch of fucking cocksuckers! <laughs> well, okay. welcome to the <laughs> orphanage. Jolene, uh. that mouth will be the death of you. Uh. And this is our day room where you will have all your meals. I mean, this doesn't look terrible. Daily socialization. 
I also love this full this shot that hasn't cut yet. It's just going in a circle. It's it at the long And now take. it's gone. But yeah, that was really nice. I didn't notice until you pointed it out. Settled. Right here. And any other personal items there. I think Elizabeth, you're going to find a much different life here. I don't know. And I'm sure that you and I are going to be good friends. I also low-key feel like this teacher, because she's so nice, is not going to be around very long. Yeah, like something. something's going to happen, This, this right? feels a little too good to be true, I will tell you that. Mm -mm. There you go. Here we go. What are we giving we are these kids? Medicating the kids. I don't know. Mr. Those Ferguson are scary looking pills. Yeah, well, those are the same in pills the she was taking in, in 67. Were they the same colors? Yep. I mean, yeah. it may just be pills that are the same color, but. I will you? I say the green one's up for the nighttime. Otherwise, they turn off right when you need to turn on. If you know what I mean. <laughs> no, I don't. What does that mean? <laughs> I'm terrified now. <laughs> What's the last thing they said to you before they died? Um, I ask everybody that. We use some really fun answers. That, okay. Close your eyes. Oh my. I don't remember. Oh. Something you might. No. If you do. Whoa. Oh, that just changed everything. Bro, this show is so good already. I got chills. So we think it was intentional Green's then. Green's the disposition. Orange and brown's for building a strong body. Take them both. I mean, it could be, but what is it actually? I'm worried. Uh, Again, even this is just more knowledge of pharmaceuticals in the 50s. Um, that's true. It could just stuff literally that be that. Meant, well, but even the stuff that was meant to be vitamins was usually toxic and not meant to be ingested. I thought I told you to wait and take those vitamins at bedtime. What is this? Fish? That school lunches, am I right? <laughs> I mean, that doesn't actually look terrible, I'm gonna be honest. The mashed potatoes look okay, the peas look kind of yummy. I don't know what that thing is, and if it's supposed to be bread, that's terrifying. The orange thing? I think it's an orange, dude. Oh, is it? Oh, my bad. <laughs> I think so. Or like well, half you an can, apple or something. You can tell I have a good diet. <laughs> Those vegetables are terrifying. Come on, open the door. It's taken me a whole month to find you. Whatever you're doing, it's nuts, even for you. Oh, oh, what, what, what is? You're not taking care of yourself. Uh, maybe they were right about that orphanage being better than, I than know. whatever she was in before. Let me come in and talk to Lizzie. Make sure she's okay. Now, is this her husband or is this somebody else? Like, who's just kind of like looking out for the mom? Oh, oh, yeah. It's in a trailer in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's our daughter. Oh, don't do Oh. Oh, her mom was a mathematician? Yeah. And I can't keep chasing you around everywhere if all you do is run away again. Well, sorry. I'm not coming back. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. This is Aww. horrible. I met anyone who liked the taste of soap as much as you did. Where are you going, Harmon? Uh, clean and erasers, chill, sorry. <laughs> I have a hall pass. <laughs> Please be like the nice janitor that has knowledge well, that nobody I, listens to. I think he's playing chess. He was moving his arm like he's playing chess. Huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is he, he's playing himself? Like, like a true professional. Is she gonna do it this time? Like hide it know. under her tongue? Yeah, go oh, for yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I mean, if you, I don't know. I'm trying to think what could it be? Do you think it's like a, a sort of tranquilizer type thing could be could be something dealing with kind of like hyperactive or like what they think is is used to treat like hyperactive maybe like adhd sort of stuff i don't know i don't know a lot about old medicine so i, I really just me neither <laughs> making this stuff up i'm worried this is going to be a little bit worse somehow 
Whoa. What do you want, child? You should be in the chapel. What's that game called? Hmm. I don't want to be with the others. I want to know what that is you're playing. Will you teach me? I don't play strangers. <laughs> I like that idea that it's almost like it's like an intimate battle to play chess. Good night, good night. Parting is such sweet song. So I shall say good night till it be morrow. We got our daily dose of Shakespeare. Yeah, I was going to say, is that Romeo and Juliet? Whoa. This is such a cool visualization. Sometimes I skip a day, or a bunch of days, then take two or three. Oh, jeez. I like the way it feels. I bet oh, great. So not only do we have bad drugs, now we're self-medicating with the bad drugs. Yeah. I already know some of it. From watching. Girls do not play chess. Ah! Excuse okay. me! Four moves up and down. Or back and forth. That tall one can go any way it wants. And this one? On the diagonals. Dang, man. She's I even can got barely the remember it, it from right. game to game. One square oh. diagonal plus one square straight. She's got the knight, too. The knight always confuses kids. And she's like nine in this. Let's play a game. <laughs> I play white. Oh, I love this. Now or never. She's oh, really good. Wow. Let's call the it's scholars a mate. I was gonna say it's a checkmate mate. already, but it. not today. Show me. Not today. Hey, you gotta go, dude. You're gonna get in trouble for the erasers. <laughs> wow. I like the little detail that you can feel her brain working because the chess pieces like flicker. And so it's almost yeah. like her imagination is like working to bring them into existence. <laughs> this. So I think we have to binge this whole show today. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's totally not like 7.30 PM where I am. I can totally do that. <laughs> So cool. This oh is my so gosh. cool. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he'll take your queen. Oh, uh, yeah. But she's almost copying him because he was being super aggressive with his queen, too, and that's how he got checkmate. They're scholars, mate. You resign now. Resign? That's right, child. When you lose the queen that way, you resign. No. What? Yes, you have resigned the game. Wait, why? Then the rules. It's not a rule. Yeah, I mean. Sportsmanship. Oh, okay. Finish. No. You've got to finish. No. Please. The game is over. You cocksucker. Whoa. <laughs> I mean, that's what happens when you hear the older kids saying that stuff. Kids will repeat that stuff. Of course. I wonder if there's a little bit of a, a Pavlovian response, Pavlov, yeah, Pavlovian response to um, the drugs in chess too, though. You know, because it's like she does seem so uninterested with everything else. And it's like, not only does learning the skill got to be awesome, but then on top of that, like, there's got to be that connection to like at night she's spending all this time like medicating and thinking about, I don't know. Yeah. Or if not that, then she may at least end up feeling like without medicating, she won't be able to... Yeah. Play yeah, yeah, properly. Yeah. Hmm. Check. Ooh, we're getting way more complicated. I love it. Yeah. Oh no. No, what are you doing, dude? Don't. There are so many levels of bad that could be. Please don't. Yeah. What do you want? I want to know what a cocksucker is. <laughs> no, you don't. 
Okay. Um, do you know what a cock is? Oh. The picture in the back of the health book, it's like a thumb. Well, honey, girls like to suck on that thumb. Isn't that where they pee? I expect <laughs> it wipes clean. This does feel like... She's asking the hard-hitting questions here. <laughs> like, this feels like, I mean, like such a question that would happen between kids of that uh, Right? Age. Kids? I don't know. Just it just it feels so real. differently. ...of alcohol. I also like to inspect my stool. Uh, oh, excuse me? It should appear firm, but not oh, firm. no. Yes, Please stop talking about your turds, uh, dude. There's always that one teacher, isn't there? There really is. This is the health <laughs> class, though, of course. <gasps> I feel like maybe we gotta like apologize. I don't know. Huh. He wants to rematch. Oh. <laughs> this is so beautiful. Take your bishop. <laughs> Does she know how to queen a pawn yet? You're gloating. I'm not. It was close. I still beat you. you gotta beat me sooner. <laughs> I like how he's pushing her because he sees her potential. <laughs> you should learn the Sicilian defense. What's that? When I wine. teach that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Then what? Knight to KB3. The squares have names? If you play well, they have names. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I don't talk about the square names. He's like, I'm... you've graduated to the names. Hmm. Variation. The Nidor variation. Do you know any of these variations, Stella, or no? No. Okay. <laughs> no, if anybody, not at all. If anybody wants to, like, tell us about chess in the comments, please. Because, like, I think Absolutely. this is fascinating. Sure. She's taken all of the, 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 the erasers. Don't. I think she just wants to be a teenager. Yeah, Let's I'm just again. worried. I feel this is all like feels too good to be true. I'm just oh, worried for like 100%. something to go wrong. <gasps> Elizabeth, like that. I'm sorry, Mrs. Studorf. Mom, guess what? What are these teenagers doing just all the time outside of this orphanage? <laughs> Like, oh, let's go to the makeout spot right outside the orphanage. The kids' for orphanage. Girls. Yeah. That's so weird. The Queen's Gambit. Oh! <gasps> what? I'm playing white? <laughs> From now on, we take turns. It's the way the game should be played. <laughs> this is this is cool. Is that whiskey? Uh, mm hmm okay. Yes. And don't tell. Modern chess openings. Ooh. It's the best book for you. Dude, she's probably already passed that book, man. I feel like well, she's there gonna... are there are a lot of of openings. I'll teach you now. Am I good enough now? <laughs> oh yeah. A hundred percent. Nine. Nine years old. Yeah, you're you're a genius. To tell you the truth of a child. You're astounding. Oh. Huh. Nobody heard him. That's such a wholesome moment. It is. And 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 I wonder if she's ever heard that. Who This is Mr. Gans from the chess club. Oh, oh okay. It's oh, a good okay. thing. <gasps> I was I thought he got in trouble or something. I was gonna say, I'm like, I wonder if they found him with whiskey or something. I don't know. Would you like to play me a game? <laughs> The ready opening. <laughs> I love that this time there's no music. That's made in three. <laughs> wow. Wow. 
You certainly know the game, young lady. That's a massive understatement. You have a team here? No, there's nothing here. All they do is etiquette. She's playing you in the basement, buddy. What do you think? Mr. Scheibel said you play a few games every Sunday. What do you do in between? They've been doing it once a week. I play in my head. Did she just checkmate both of them at the same time? Oh my gosh. She just walks away like a boss. <laughs> Queen takes king's pawn. Castles. Wow. The way that she's picking up on the chest rooms, too. Maiden three. First check is with the queen. The king must take. Then the bishop checks on knight five. And it's made next. <laughs> Would you mind, Beth? If I took your picture, uh, I'd love to tell the kids in the chess club about you. How about you stand next to Mr. Scheibel? Maybe talk to the head of the orphanage and say, hey, can she come join our chess club? That's it. Say queen. Queen. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gans tells me that you are a gifted child. <gasps> he did. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, this is great. He would like you to be taken to the high school on... Yes, this is exactly what I was talking okay, cool, about. Cool, 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 cool. He maintains that you are a phenomenal chess That's player. That's right she is. He would like you to perform for the chess club. And I was suggesting to Mrs. Deerdorf that you come along and play all of them in a simul... <laughs> we like to give our girls a chance for experience outside whenever we can. But what do you say, Elizabeth? Do you want to play chess at the high school? Yes. I'd like to. I'm told that you've been playing chess with our custodian. With Mr. Scheibel. Yeah. This is very irregular, Elizabeth. Have you gone to the basement? Yeah. As much as Methuen believes in excellence, we can't have you playing chess in the basement. So... Bring uh, Mr. Scheibel upstairs and have them play upstairs. Okay, 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 good, 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 good. Okay. I'll have Ferguson look into that. Great. Great. I, oh, she's I keep actually thinking, good. I know. I keep thinking this is going to go south and it's going well. It's I know. Like, okay, great. <laughs> right behind you. I know where they are, Harmon, but I'm not going to give you any. New state law. No more tranquilizers for kids. I great. freaking told you. Harmon. Go there, I told you. They're straight up tranquilizing these kids. What? Beat it. Dude, she's gonna, she can't play, or, or at least she feels like she can't play. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. Mm. And also, I'm sure there's gonna be withdrawal. Yeah. I love that this shot is literally having trouble focusing. They got the whole state after them for what they've been doing with those pills. They're still there. In the big jar. Don't, don't ruin the hiss and like break in. You haven't withdrawn symptoms. I don't know. <laughs> what are those? You look around. It's gonna be some jumpy orphans around here the next few days. You better hope that's all it is, man. You all right? Oh. Do you play the King's Gambit? No. It's my favorite. Oh, no. Older than checkers. No. By like 400 years. Wait! Can I talk a bit? Just for a second, wish her luck. Sure, go ahead. Did she get... She did. Mm-hmm. Good luck. No. <laughs> but she hasn't taken them while she's playing. Has she? That's true. Look so mad. <laughs> They're like, what is happening? Take your seats and be quiet, please. Charles Levy will take board number one since he's our top. Oh, you're going down, Charles. I was going to say, they're probably upset because they've been hearing their teacher hype her up this whole time. 
Do I start now? <laughs> With board number one. And then I go into the next one? That's right. She's like, it's that easy? Okay. It's interesting. I guess when we see her repeat her moves, we can figure out what her pattern is. Bad they played. <laughs> back of Whoa. Cards all over the place. And the pieces were wide open for forks. <laughs> This is crazy. She's gaining a crowd. But I took care of them. He was supposed to be the best. <laughs> I had his pieces tied up in 15 moves. I made it in with six more. Wow. Mr. Gans told me I'd beat them all in an hour and 20 minutes. Oh my gosh. It felt good. I've never won anything before. Jolene. Hey. Do you have any more vitamins? Uh. This is Samantha. She just got here. Have Hi, you got Samantha. even just oh, one? Okay. Yeah, she's just ignoring her. She, she... So, you do okay? See, this is the Fine, danger. I, need, I don't want to hear. Is of course she's good at what she does, but now she's tunnel visioning. All she cares about are her pills and chess. Is she supposed to be down here? <gasps> oh, oh no. she's taking his keys. I cannot renounce him, sire. Nor can you. He is my king and yours as well. Tribune Gallio, we decree that you'll be taken immediately to the palace at <sighs> Beth. What are you, what are you doing, dude? No, Diana. No, there's no reason. I love to... projector shots in movies. <laughs> I do too. They just they're so nice to look at. Hurry up. Stand back. You're not on trial. She's not even picking the lock. She's just going to break the window open. Uh... The other thing I'm worried about is like is she planning on taking just the whole... How many is she planning on stealing? ...to his kingdom. Then by the gods you shall! Do you know what movie this is? <laughs> I don't. It <laughs> feels familiar. Do you? I, I don't either. I was just curious. The woman was credited as Diana. Oh my gosh. Oh no. This is incredible. I kind of have to smile because of how good the filmmaking is, <laughs> but I'm so filled with dread right now, man. Yeah, if you see me smiling like a five-year-old child, it's just because this is made, like, magnificently. Okay, I, yeah, now that she's holding it, the other thing I'm terrified of, that is a glass jar. That is absolutely going to shatter if you drop it. Mm. And kids have butterfingers, man. Oh, no. See, oh, this... Oh, no. no, no. Beth, 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 Beth. This is it. It's no. always you go back for it and then. No, 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 no. She's going to. Oh. <gasps> no, 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 no. That's it, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> Bro, that was harrowing. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> Oh, that was like, just the first episode, dude. And there was that. The other thing that <sighs> wears me out, we got like two minutes of Anya Taylor Joy. That was all on this little girl's shoulders, and she freaking killed it. It's it. Okay, it's one of those things where I I never know because obviously different people have different tastes, and you get something that's like super hyped up or whatever. And even then, I'm still I'm still like holding back my my expectations because I had heard so much about the show. It's like oh, it's the best thing that ever happened yeah. to television. Yada yada yada. But so far, man. This is this is incredible. Like just just not even talking about the characters and, and the story and everything, which we will talk about. Technically alone, 
so far it is it is just like a masterpiece like it i don't know it's it i'm probably just gonna keep saying it's so cool because i'm running out of the vocab to talk about this but seriously like the filmmaking the sound design the music that whole ending sequence right there is just incredible yeah i can't disagree i mean what do you think of i don't know where do you, where do you think this is going what do you think so far i don't even want to guess i'm terrified man so okay um i'm wondering if we're going to stick with young Beth for very long. I'm assuming we're going to kind of age her up pretty fast. And this is more just like a, you know, almost a prologue to her life and to Mm -hmm. her downfall, which is scary to think about. Um, I don't know, man. It's super interesting. I think that like, like already the themes that we're exploring here are so like complex. Um, And I think, I, I'm fascinated by it. Like, I, I wasn't sure what to think, and I didn't know if they were going to... And it's, this still may happen, where it's like, you know, you see in a lot of stories... It, it seems like some of these, like, orphanage... Like, like have you ever read The the Little Princess? I think it is. I have, yeah. Um, stuff like that. Like, I feel like that those kind of, like, stories, there's a lot of stuff about, like, all right, the orphanage, and there's, like, the mean kids yeah. and stuff like that. And so when we were starting out, I was like, okay, I kind of see where this is going. And and so I'm kind of happy that it's not going there. Um, I know. That it's, no it's, one at is, least so like, far, it's doing something very different. Orphanage. No, and then also it's like the I like what they're doing is so nuanced. Like the visual storytelling and the the concept of like this girl who came from at least let's say less than perfect situation. We don't really know, and I'm assuming maybe yeah. we'll find out more, or maybe we don't even really need to know more um, of like her home. And I feel like you know maybe maybe having some some problems that run in the family. Yeah. And, for like also being a genius kind of and that runs then just, the family yep yeah and the whole I wonder idea if we're gonna kind of delve into the burden of being a genius you know what i mean that it's not all praise and glory because there's on some level there's something very isolating about being that good at something right and yeah understanding it better than everyone else like even just her playing these these teenage boys i bet she made just a room full of enemies right there just by being smart <laughs> So. Well, I, f- I find that, I mean, I mean, this is kind of a generalization, but it seems sometimes, you know, when when you become really good, it's it's, it's hard to be like a, a master at everything. And so then, especially when you're yep. like a kid and it's like, oh, maybe she struggles to socialize or stuff like that. Right. But it's like she's really good at chess. Um, and it's 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 like I don't even blame you for not, you know, being able to do all of these things amazingly. And so then it's like you, you feel that burden. And then almost like on top of it, we have this like really, really dangerous uh, almost like reward system where it's like, you know, I'm kind of assuming some of this, but it's like, I, I, I'm not sure how much attention or like love that she got at home. And it feels like she has this yeah. connection with the custodian in the basement because I feel like he actually like treats her with some respect and he's like giving her some positive affirmation and like encouraging her and like challenging her. Right. Which, which I think sometimes people don't yeah. do with kids where it's like people don't underestimate what kids understand. And so I like, I remember when I was a kid and even now when you have somebody who's much older than you, who treats you like an equal, there's no better feeling than that. And then especially as a kid, um, when you have this guy, you know, he's like treating her like an equal. He's like, all right, let's play chess. And, and, and you could see that kind of like dynamic and then add that to like the dopamine rush of drugs. Right. And that addiction, I, it's, I'm just, I'm really worried. And that ending was just amazing. Yeah. I don't know. Say something, Stella. I, I'm uh, just rambling here because this is I, all awesome. I mean, I just think it's going to be obviously like, so, oh gosh, I can't remember now the custodian's name, but he's filling up a bit of a parental void. But you can see how she's going down the exact same path as her mother, right? Her mother was clearly like a very talented mathematician, really mm. intelligent and fell kind of down a path we don't know why though which is what's interesting it may have just been pressure because there's a lot of pressure when you're smart man um and i i think there's something there's something to be said about when when kids are good at something we see this Mm -hmm. all the time on on tv and in the news when kids are good at something or they're funny or they have a viral video we will beat that dead horse Mm -hmm. senseless we'll we will beat the dead horse until it stops spitting out money. Um, 
And I'm kind of scared that's what's going to happen with her is because then you feel like your only value is this talent that you have and you're not value valuable without it. You're not valuable as the person underneath. But we do it all the time. When kids are good at singing, we put them on, you know, live TV. We put them on talent I shows. I mean, I think that's just with are, anybody, right? It's like it's like anybody who's good at something. There's always people trying kids. to make a dime. And then it's but just as a kid. But we love to watch talented kids. You can't kids. stand up for yourself. Yeah. I mean, you, we've, it's, I don't want to name drop any specific television shows, but we've seen it happens every year that it's like, oh my gosh, this little girl can sing a song really good. This little kid uh, plays guitar really great. And it's like, to a mm. kid, truly, they don't understand what fame even means. They just like doing the thing. But eventually that interest will wane, you know, and you're going to want to explore other things. And I'm scared she's kind of getting roped into that path right now. Yeah, I, I mean, so far, at, at least everybody seems to be meaning well. I mean, obviously, there's 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 accidental sorts of things that happens, but it seems like both the high school teacher and the custodian, like, aren't like using her. Like, I was a little worried with the picture for some reason. I, I was just worried about everything, to be honest. I was wor- waiting for it to go south, so I was kind of like, all right, what's the picture for? What's going on? But it it does seem like they're kind of like, oh, this is really impressive, and we want to like give you more opportunities and stuff like that. Um, so I don't know. Yeah. I'm worried about how this whole this whole like drug problem is going to be taken, um, especially because we're dealing with like, OK, the state is learning more and these things just got banned. So but I also don't really understand. Well, I, I'm sure they don't understand as much about like mm-hmm. addiction as we do now. So I just am kind of worried about like where the culpability is going to fall and how that's going to affect her. You know what I mean? Because I feel like like this episode mainly it was like, hey, man, you have this talent and like maybe this. Maybe this is something that you could use to kind of get a leg up to maybe get out of this orphanage to get, you know, a little bit more stability or something in your life. But now I, I don't know. I'm a little I'm a little concerned. I'm very concerned. Me too. I think so. that's where we're going to leave this one. Is we oh, are oh, and before concerned. I forget, before I forget, I just it was just so cool how they made chess beautiful. I know this sounds really weird and I was nerding out about it during the episode, but like the way that every time they played chess, it was, it was, I can't describe it any other way. It was beautiful. I don't play a lot well, of you chess. Know what I don't know a lot about chess, <laughs> but I watched it and I was like, I am in love with what you're telling me to be in love with. And I don't really play chess. You know really what it reminds chess. me of? What? Is, so I, as a kid, I didn't play chess much. I did, I took chess lessons as a kid at like a Russian chess school. Very scary stuff, but it was because oh, yeah. my older brother was always like really smart, super smart kid growing up. And he was fantastic at it from a really young age. Mm -hmm. Um, And we had the video game, I think it was Chess Masters. (laughs) Yes, I remember that. And it had the opening. (laughs) The opening was the the CGI chess pieces like spinning around in a void. And in the background was box cello suite. So the, yeah. you know, the one that da, 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 yeah. would just go and that would play in my brain constantly. That was my favorite part about it. Cause I was just like, wow, look. chess is That's just funny. very elegant, right? Yeah, it is the I, most elegant game for sure. But it's hard to show things like that on camera. There could be things it that really are elegant is. in real life. And then you stick the sunset in front of your camera and you're like, this sucks. Like, I don't know how to make this say. look the way that it looks to my eye. And so then to the take something like of- chess, which kind of could look boring. If you like, if you don't know chess and you see somebody playing chess, I'm not going to stay and watch I I'm not interested. And so to take something like that and like almost show us the audience, whether we play chess or not, what it looks like through a chess player's eyes, I think it's cool. So points for chess masters and points for Queen's Gambit. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, um, thank you guys just for being here. Thank you for joining us for watching. As always, full length reaction is going to be up on the Patreon. Um, chess people, get in those comments, please. Feel free to like school us, book people, everybody. You know what? Feel free to join in. I feel like the show is going to really go places. So have some discussions in the comments. We'll definitely both be in those comments, commenting with you guys, um, talking about stuff. And yeah, thank you just for being here. Thank you for joining. If you're new, welcome. Hopefully you stick around. We got Queen's Gambit and a lot more coming your way. And then, like I said, check out the Patreon for early access to next week's episode. And if you do decide to stick around, we will see you all in the next video. <laughs> <laughs>